Welcome to 110 North Parade in Shirley. This is the next house on our Super Home Virtual Tour. And I'm here with Peter and of Ethos Homes and he's going to talk to us about um, some of the details of what he's doing here um, to hopefully target certified passive house standard with this house. Um, Pete, what's your biggest challenge here with this project? Um, there's been a few challenges with this project. Number one is actually trying to make it meet the passive house standard with the heating loads and demands and window placements and actual window choice. So we've gone with the thermally broken aluminium window here uh, that is from Weather Shield in Christchurch. They import their win window frames from England, the warm core range. Uh, that's worked out really well with the recessed uh, flashing design and sills. Um, the e ventilation system was a challenge to get within the thermal envelope, but it ended up working out really well. And also um, the elimination of thermal bridges with the quite a bit of steel in the house. Uh, it's got a very good form factor, um, low uh, surface area to volume um, of air in the house and we got a blow door test result of 0.19 air changes per hour which is exceptional. That's awesome. So is there anything um, that you've learnt on this project that will help you for the next project? Or? Yeah, who to use and who not to use. Yeah, in terms of <laughs> Uh, contractors and, uh, and and also streamlining the process yeah. is very very important for us to be involved in the initial design yeah. um, the more experience that we get with yeah. these building these homes the more that comes yeah well it's been a common prevalent. theme with um, just about all the homes that we've visited the uh, importance of having the right team from the start and from from an early stage having everybody on the same page and working together? Yes it is, we all have um, our strengths and weaknesses but if we're in it together then we can bring all those strengths together and actually get a, get the result that is desired from the client. Yeah. Um, we're really passionate about building these homes and getting that result and we will go above and beyond to get that result but we're hoping as we do more and more of these projects that we can streamline um, some of these issues, mainly around doors and windows and ventilation systems, um, that we can actually uh, make it more affordable. Yeah, I think that's a key thing. It's the biggest impediment for most people is um, cost. And when you get to this, this really high level of performance, it does cost more. Um, and making it so that, um, you know, the reason I ask the question is, you know, I, I know from my experience every time we do a project, we learn something and the next project's better than the, the last. And whether it's learning how to make it more efficient in terms of better performance or whether it's learning how to make it more efficient in terms of the build and uh, more affordable because um, the buildability is, is better. The buildability is a big thing. Um, we, we have to know what we're up against, how we're going to... It's about thinking ahead and knowing what we're, what's in store. The elimination of thermal bridge around steel beams is a big one. And also being able to get the uh, ventilation system installed efficiently within the thermal envelope so that it meets that passive house standard. Yeah, nice. Okay, mm. so um, should we have a look around the house and um, maybe you can show us some of the, the features? Yeah.